The Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. There's his house. He's bringing the Christmas tree. Decorating the Christmas tree. He's got lots of kids. And there's the kitty. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. See that lady there? When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came and whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. There they go. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew. With a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. See? He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. See that lady? His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. A stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, 
and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. There's that lady again. Look at the nice stockings full of lovely things. He sprang with his sleigh to his team, gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. There they go. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. There he goes.